not dream of a better mix of metals that we need for our future. The push for electric cars is driving up the interest in deep sea mining. ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano talked to scientists leaving from San Diego for a 46 day voyage at sea to determine if mining the deep blue sea can make our roadways greener. There's a company whose boat is docked here at the port of San Diego. They say the future of electric is out there in the ocean. In the not so far future, our roads will be full of electric vehicles, and that means we'll need a lot of batteries. Mining need to increase by five to 600% per annum. The problem is the supply of raw materials on land are drying up, or they sit on undeveloped rainforests. Plus pollution caused by land mining is astronomical. So where to next? We think that the ocean provides the answer to that. Jared Barron is the CEO of the Metals Company. Several times a year, they head 1,100 miles off the coast of San Diego. There on the ocean floor, there are millions of nodules or rocks containing nickel, cobalt, copper, and manganese, all ingredients of batteries. It's a little bit like walking onto the golf driving range that's littered with balls. Uh, but instead, they're nodules that contain all the battery metals. No one country owns that area of the ocean. Instead, it's governed by the United Nations and is separated into 16 licensed mining zones. The team of ROV pilots, uh, the ship, the science, we're all working in concert as one team. Scientists use robotic vehicles to study the environmental impacts of picking up the nodules and the underwater species that live around them. So you don't have to drill to get to them. We don't have to blast like you do with land-based mining. Barron says 10 years into launching his company, they're quite literally only scratching the surface. But he's certain this will lead to a greener world. For San Diego and for the Californian business community, there's going to be tremendous economic opportunities that come as a result of this new industry. I'm Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News. It's estimated there are 21 billion tons of nodules in the extraction zone, enough to make hundreds of billions of electric car batteries.